Which of the following expressions is equivalent to f of x over g of x for x is greater than 3? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just divide f of x by g of x. So you get f of x over g of x is equal to x to the third minus 9x divided by g of x, which is x squared minus 2x minus 3. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is factor out an x from the numerator. So we get x times x squared minus 9. And then in the denominator, I'm just going to factor this out. So after a while, you kind of get to know um, tips and tricks. The best one I have learned is the x method. And that's when you write the number here on the top, and then you write the number here on the bottom. And then what you do is you try to find out what two numbers, which will go right here, add up to negative two, but multiply to negative three, okay? So there's not that many options. Um, what I'm gonna do is kind of just guess and check. So if I do negative three and one, for example, um, negative three times one is equal to negative three, okay? So that checks out. And then negative three plus one is equal to negative two, okay? So that checks out. So that means that our roots are x minus three and x plus one, okay? And then if you multiply this out, you will get this answer, okay? So now that we did that, um, we can simplify this a little bit more. So x squared minus nine can also be factored. Um, so x squared minus nine is also equivalent to x plus three times x minus three. And we can verify that by the just multiplying it out. So we get x squared minus 3x and then foil plus 3x minus 9. Okay, so the minus 3x and the plus 3x cancel. So we get x squared minus 9. So that indeed equals x squared minus 9. So now that we wrote that, we can rewrite the numerator. So this expression is now equal to x times x squared minus 9, which I told you was x minus 3 times x plus 3. And then that whole thing divided by x minus 3 times x plus 1. Okay, so now that we have this, um, we can cancel the x minus 3 and the x minus 3 out here. Okay, so then to simplify that we have x times x plus 3 divided by x plus 1. And if you check, this answer is right here. 